Now we'll go on to our next performance, which is called um, a live demonstration of auto trace number three. I have to look at my notes because otherwise I'll forget what I'm supposed to say. Okay, um, greetings everyone. Uh, so, uh, uh, thanks everyone for coming. Uh, we'd like to thank Christian Paul for inviting us and uh, Thomas and Ed for having us and the other artists for putting up with us. Um, so, what we're going to do right now is uh, demonstrate the auto trace technique, uh, which and then we're going to create a large wall scale drawing out of what we come up with with the auto trace. Uh, and then we're going to actually give away the artwork to one lucky audience member. Um, so the auto trace series uh, comprises prints, drawings, performances, and other forms of art. Uh, and what it is is we take JPEG representations of paintings that you may have seen before, and we uh, turn the bitmap digital image uh, that is the JPEG representation into a vector digital image, and then we use different strategies uh, then to present this auto traced image as a new and original artwork. So we're just going to dive right in and show you the auto trace technique. <laughs> So the first thing we do is place the image in Adobe Illustrator because that's the program we use to auto trace the, uh, the image. And then we trace it using the live trace feature in Adobe Illustrator. And it takes a second to do it. Yeah, maybe this is where the art happened. <laughs> uh, it'll just be a moment. <laughs> I'm sure the engineers at Adobe would appreciate that. <laughs> Okay, and then we have it. We need to click this button here. That's a very important button. And then we need to uh, do this. And then we need to uh, make all that blue stuff go away. Um, let me see where I am. Okay, and so now, now that we have the uh, the auto trace drawing, it's time now. Or it's the strategy we're going to use tonight to present to create a, a new and original artwork is we're going to select one random shape out of this whole mess of shapes that you see up here on our projection. And the way we're going to do that is really simple. It's not automated in any way. I'll just kind of go like this with the cursor until someone says stop. Stop. Oh, oh, thank you. And now I stop. click. You're a little late there. Sorry. <laughs> and now I click and I copy and we create a new file. And there's our shape. And this is actually, now we have the artwork. This is now the artwork. And uh, check it out. There it is. It's kind of a putty color. And it has a lot of different uh, bits to it. And now the, now the fun part is M River will do a wall drawing of the shape with tape. And he has exactly two minutes to do it. And at the end of the two minutes, he's he's done. So let me know when you're ready. Are you ready? And then we'll I'll hit start on the timer. I don't think you're gonna okay. Ed? Got another roll of tape for you. Alright, go. <laughs> Alright, start. Alright, here we go. He's got two minutes. And so while he's doing that, 
I thought I'd take this opportunity to explain a few things about the auto trace because it seems so simple, but it's actually extremely complicated. Uh, the uh, now, just to remind you, this this what he's doing on the wall isn't the actual art. The art is the digital image. What he's doing is what we call a physicalization or objectification of the actual artwork. Um, and this is just one example of a way that you could take an auto trace uh, image and uh, make uh, and make a physicalization. You could make uh, you could screen print it on T-shirts. You could fabricate uh, monumental steel sculptures. You could uh, create digital photographic prints. You could print on billboards. Mike, you're like a minute in. What's going on over there? Hey, I'm having a little trouble. All right, I think it's the cold that's affecting the tape. Um, yeah, that's uh, going to be a fail, Tim. Keep going. That's all right. Maybe he'll just keep going after the two minutes. Uh, so you can print it on billboards, etc. Basically, you can do anything you want with it. Um, so you're wondering, so what is the difference between these bitmap, the bitmap <laughs> image that we started with, and the vector image that we've now ended up with? Um, does, any, does everyone know the difference between a uh, digital graphic format? Yeah. Or should I explain yeah. that? So a bitmap is basically like, you know, uh, uh, it's sort of like, a, this is an art audience, so it's sort of like a Syrah painting. So each little pixel is represented as a color. So if you have a circle, it's, it's describing every pixel in that circle is red and then the background black or something. But with a vector image, it's just using mathematical formulas to say this is a pixel and however you're displaying it, use as many as your little pixel units to fill up that circle. So those are the main differences. How much time we got? Hurry. Uh, you have about uh, 15 seconds. <laughs> Uh, should I try to stall? No, 15 minutes, seconds. Okay, you're almost there. Down, down. All right, you're at, okay, you're at the five, uh, four, uh, three, two, one. That's it. All right. Well done. All right. Small technical snafu, but that's okay. We actually need that back on. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to give the uh, auto trace number three uh, away, and this is it here. Well, I actually can't see it anymore because the projector went off. So, and we're going to put it on this little USB key right here that I have in my hand. <laughs> On your own. All right. So, as you can see, technical snafus do happen when we're putting projectors here and there. But that's okay. You're gonna have to trust me that the only place I'm saving this drawing is on is on to. Oh, is coming back on? All right. So now I have to show you actually that because it's really important because it's the only. All right, there we go. Okay, so now we're going to save this as auto trace number three, number one A, and it's a performative auto trace. Uh, and we're saving it on the USB stick. You can see right here, here's the USB stick. Uh, and we're saving it there. And that's the only place we're saving it. There's an old one that I tested in there, so yeah. I got rid of that. And now, okay, so now it's on the USB stick. That's the only place we save it. I'll close that one. This one gets closed because, see, I click, don't say. <laughs> and there it is. It's on the USB stick. You can see it right there. There's nowhere, no, nowhere else is it on my hard drive. I promise this is your original artwork to keep. So, and this, this is how we're going to do it. So whoever can guess the closest, how many points are actually in the drawing, uh, gets to keep it. So we'll ask five people to guess, just randomly. I'll pick them. Raise your hand if you want to own the artwork. 
and then we'll see how many, who gets closest, and whoever's, uh, if you go over, you lose. Okay, <laughs> all right, so you right there. How many points do you fix in it? Here, wait, Mike, write this down. Lady, you got a sense for it? Points, points, points. Uh, 3,297 points. Right, I can tell you right now, you lose. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, you know 21. 21, okay, Adrian's got 21. 17 over there, the guy in the beard. 12. Uh, we need we need a little lady. Can I guess again? Right here. 10. 10, okay, so we have 21, 17, 10. 23. 9. And 9? All right, that was 5. Okay, so let's see how many it is. Sorry, folks. Wow. So this is the only way I know how to do this. If anyone knows how to do this better way, you can tell me how do you do this. You simplify, and then you go like this. Original was 12. 12. So who did 10? That's, yeah. yeah, she was the closest, right? Yeah, okay, so you win. <laughs> All right, okay. oh no, she had 10. Yeah, wait. Okay, that. And that's it. That was Auto Trace number uh, three. Uh,